Okay, so we're gonna go over the body weight walking lunge. So I'm gonna get James to do this and I'll call out the coaching cues as we're going through it. So James, if you just go, we'll go maybe three steps forward or something. Right, right, that's fine. So we're gonna start with one leg in front of the other and so as, as James lowers this knee down to the ground, he's gonna drive up through the leg that leads with the movement, so on his left leg. And it's important to compose and stop in between this. It's gonna allow you to get your balance and focus on what you're doing. The quicker you go through this, doesn't mean you're gonna get results any quicker. Absolutely Slow not. Slow and controlled all the way through this movement. So you step your right foot, drive down, step up through, just like so, then do another one, and back up. So I'm gonna get James to rotate round and do it back towards me. Now, what you might not oh, see from- <laughs> And what you may not see from the camera angle here is James's posture isn't folding over. So if you just continuously do that back and forth, you can see the level of control that James has over this. His posture's not up too straight as well. There's a little bit of a leaning into the movement, but you don't want to fold over completely. And it's also one of the most important cues that I've ever given on this exercise is the knee tapping the ground, you want to imagine the ground made of eggshells. You don't want to break that eggshell, you just want to make sure that you, you give it a little kiss on the top of the head. So that's how much pressure your knee should be making when it makes contact with the ground. Yep. This is probably one that most people will struggle with if you've never done it before. All it is, is instability is just general, a general weakness with the way that your body's moving in this unilateral movement. And you'll find that the first time doing this, it may seem very difficult, but the more and more you practice this, taking one step forward, tapping your knee in the ground, stepping up and composing, even if you get four reps or whether you get six reps, you're gonna get better and better with that as each time gets on. So something that I'd like to add is what I've seen many people do is when they go to do a bottle lunge and they step a foot out, they keep the back foot flat or they just bring it up a little bit. Mm. What you want to do is when you step out, you want to make sure you come up basically on the balls and your toes and that's going to allow you to actually lever in. So what happens is I've had a few clients do it, they've got injured through it, they've done this, They've went like this, they've really stretched the back of your leg, they've drove through, and they've ended up with an injury. And all thing is, we squat with a wide stance, right? So if we're here, we're actually gonna go out to the side slightly, and that's gonna give your hips space to get into. Yeah. If I'm going like this, I'm going one in front of the other, it's gonna be really unstable. That's yeah. the two, two uh, tips that I would say there. Nah, that's an excellent point. So don't imagine a tight rope, kind of look at your natural hip stance and step out with that. Absolutely. It's important that when, in terms of like how far you step out as well, this knee is gonna sometimes want to cave in. Again, it's just as part and parcel of maybe a weakness or the movement that you're not used to. You're gonna have to think about that control and make sure it's kind of driven more to the outside of the foot, but obviously not too much in that direction. Absolutely. The distance is probably the last thing I've not quite covered off there. If you step too narrow and you go to go down, this foot is gonna to want to come up off the floor. So that's an indication that you need to step a little bit wider with whatever foot that you go with. If you step too far again, it's gonna feel more awkward on the back of the leg and you'll feel, well, that stretch, like you're doing, that you'll be overstretching. That you're doing that split. So that's the walking lunges, a great compound movement to, to have in your program. To build stability and strength. All right, sorted.